I'm so glad you're here. We've been like kids in a candy store all month talking about all different kinds of candy. You see, every single one of us is a custom creation. We were all made in God's image with our own individuality. Individuality is discovering who you're meant to be so you can make a difference. Some of you really like sweet candy, super sweet candy. Some of you like sour candy, super sour candy. And some people even like super spicy red hot stuff. We all like different things because we're all one of a kind creations, ourselves. God made us that way. And with his help, we can use our individuality to make a big difference in this world. It's super interesting to see which types of candy are the most popular. I, for one, love a good Sour Patch Kid. I also love it when we sing and we worship God together. So let's do that right now. me got to see what you see you are doing a great work in me i've decided i can stand still no you have given me purpose all my all my heart is yours
That's right. You can make a move for God. You can use your individuality to share his love with others. And don't forget, if you ever get stuck or you're not sure what to do, you can always run to God. He's always there to help you figure it out. Like David wrote in Psalm 55, 22, turn your worries over to the Lord. He will keep you going. Let's worship God right now and thank him because we can trust him no matter what. Whenever I need some answers, God, I turn to you. You are my help when I need wisdom. You always see me through to know that you're chasing Six books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4. Verse 12. Timothy of Lystra must have felt like he lived in two worlds. His mother, Eunice, and his grandmother, Lois, both were Jewish and believed in the one true God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. 
but Timothy's father was Greek and likely not a believer. Just work hard and be a good man, son. That's what really matters. Okay, Dad. One day, two men arrived in Lystra. Timothy may have heard them speaking in the center of town. Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. You can turn to him now. One of the two men even healed a man who had never been able to walk. The crowd was amazed. The gods have come down to us in human form. Uproar engulfed the city. People even tried to offer sacrifices to the two men, Paul and Barnabas, as if they were gods. But in the middle of the chaos, a group of Jews from nearby towns where Paul and Barnabas had preached showed up and convinced everyone to attack the man with stone and stake. Though the Jews dragged Paul outside the city and left him for dead, Paul got right back up. Timothy really surely heard about it. The power of this Jesus is real. Paul left for Derby the next day and returned again to Lystra. Timothy, his mother and grandmother all listened to Paul's teaching and all three became believers in Jesus. Paul continued on his journey, but left behind a small, thriving new church. We must pray each day and teach each other. Timothy, in the meeting tomorrow, you should tell the story Paul shared, the one about how Jesus raised a dead man. Oh, but I, I don't really like to talk in front of people. I think you shall do very well. By the time Paul had returned several years later, Timothy had become a faithful disciple of Jesus. Everyone at the church spoke well of him. Timothy knows all the Hebrew scriptures. He is kind to everyone, not just those who are Jewish. And his father is a Greek man? Oh, yes. Paul was looking for someone to help encourage new churches. Someone who knew God's words. Someone who could speak to people from all different backgrounds. Timothy! I'd like you to travel with me and Silas and Luke. Me? Of course you. Oh, but there are others older than me with more experience. They're bold. They're, they're better at speaking. You're the one God has chosen for this job. Wow. Well, okay. The elders of the church laid their hands on Timothy and prayed for him. God's Spirit provided Timothy with everything he would need for the work ahead. Amen. We leave tomorrow. Over the next years, Timothy traveled with Paul all around the land to help encourage believers and start new churches. While they spent time in Ephesus, Paul gave Timothy a special mission. I want you to go to the church in Corinth. On my own? You're like a son to me. I trust you completely. The church there needs to see an example of what it means to follow Christ. And, well, you're it. Timothy went to Corinth. Over the years, Timothy became Paul's right-hand man. Paul even put him in charge of the church in Ephesus. The leaders in Ephesus are so much older than I am. Will they even listen to me? Your age doesn't matter. As Timothy settled in Ephesus, Paul wrote him letters to encourage him. Don't let anyone look down on you because you're young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and how you live. Also, set an example in how you love and in what you believe. Show the believers how to be pure. Though Timothy met Paul when he was a very young man, he was able to play an important part in helping Paul build up the early church and sharing the incredible news of Jesus. Listen again to what Paul wrote to Timothy. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Also set an example in how you love and what you believe. Show the believers how to be pure. Paul knew that Timothy could make a difference. Even though he was young, he knew he could make a big difference. And that's true for you too. Our bottom line this week, you can make a difference right now. Say that with me. You can make a difference right now. You don't have to wait until you're older to show others what God is like. You can be an example for other people right now with the way you choose to live your life and the way that you choose to follow God. When a friend feels down, you can help them find their joy again. When you see two people having an argument, you can step in and help them figure out how to make peace. 
You can live with honesty and integrity, even when it's not easy. Above all, you can use your individuality and the way God made you to do big things right here and now. Remember, by spreading God's love to the people around you, you can actually point others to Jesus, point others to God, and God can work through you at any age. Thanks for joining us this week here on YouTube. Remember, you can check us out here every Sunday on YouTube for elementary, preschool, and middle school. You can also join us in person at the Children's Center on Sunday mornings, 9.30 and 12.30 at 7522 South Greenwood Avenue. We hope to see you there.